Hey guys, and welcome back to their Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a chicken cooker. This one is brand new and works in the newest version of Minecraft on Bedrock and Java. So I'm very hyped to get right into this. I hope you guys are too, to have all those tasty chickens in your Minecraft world. So anyway, let's get right into the tutorial. But before we do, I just want to let you guys know that this farm has a 100% collection rate. As I know my older design that I made a video on doesn't work anymore. Well, it does. It just has terrible rates. So this one, it has 100% rate as you can see. I put in 48 chickens and out comes a little more than 48. That's just because sometimes chickens can drop double. But as you guys can see, it dropped 12 doubles. But obviously, I didn't lose any. So since the Minecraft hopper is very good, it works very well. So the first thing you want to do is break out two blocks from the ground. You place a chest and then you want to place a hopper, crouch place it in the back. That way you don't open up the chest by accident. Then you want to punch random slimes that are ring around because they're very annoying. Next thing you want to do is place two solid blocks around the side while a slime still is annoying you. Then you want to get a rail, actually two rails to be exact, and place one and then another, just as I place them. You want to place them facing that direction, that way, they don't go rolling out of there and then you'll just lose your minecart and that'll be sad for you because your farm will no longer connect anything and you'll be so sad. Alright, so then what you want to do is go and get your glass. You want to place your glass right there, just like I'm doing. You want to place it around. This is going to keep your chickens inside, well actually your chicks, because as soon as they grow up they just die because that's kind of sad, but they, they do die. So then you want to grab your dispenser, which shoots eggs out just like our can. It's like pew, pew, pew. Yeah. So you want to place it right there facing into the slab. Then what you got to do, this is the redstone part, the most complicated part of the whole entire thing. So get your redstone mines in. Let's get right into it. So you want to place it in a nine block pattern. And just if you've done that, then what you want to do is get your redstone and place two right there. Then you want to place another one. Then you place two more. Then you place your redstone repeater facing right into that block. Then you want to place the other repeater facing into that block. And then a redstone right on top to connect it to the dispenser. Then you want to get your comparator. Yeah, like I said, get the comparator and hop right up there and place it facing into the dispenser. You know it's facing in because it has the, two, the side with two on it. It's facing into the dispenser. Then what you want to do is go and you're not gonna be flying but you're just gonna build up and you place glass right there then you want to place your hopper crouch place it so you don't open it into the dispenser then this is on this hopper is where you're gonna be putting the chickens but first we have to make the cooker the cooker is lava this is called the minecraft's oven lava equal minecraft oven it's like in real life you actually just put your chicken in the oven but in Minecraft, you just chuck your chicken right in the lava. Then you want to place your solid blocks right around in a ring, and then you break out the corners. This is very resource efficient. That's why my big brain is using slabs, because this is very smart, because, yeah. If you don't use slabs, then you're just wasting one block, which is very important in your Minecraft world. Now, the next thing you want to do is get your carpet and your string. These are your anti-fire protection. They will keep your chickens alive. They're the chicken firefighters. Because you don't want your chickens to just get cooked. As you can see, you place it just like that. You don't want your chickens to get cooked. Like over here, your chickens will just go roasted. They, your starter chickens, they'll get cooked. You don't want your starter chickens to get cooked. You want your baby chickens to get cooked. Alright, so then you gotta go and get your chicken eggs. But I'm actually using spawn eggs because, you know, I'm a creative and I'm impatient and I don't feel like waiting for baby chickens to grow up because they take, according to Minecraft.com or whatever you look that up on, it's 15 minutes. That is a lot of time. All right. So the next thing that you want to do is make sure that you have a lot of eggs because you need a lot of chickens. And th another good way to get chickens up is you make a ladder. Then you gotta make them chase you with seeds, place a 
trap door and then open it and they all fall in like ah oh, fall in the trap and you're like haha i caught you another thing you can do is just make an egg farm which you just put a hopper then chickens on top wrap them all around so they don't escape and then they just lay eggs every like i don't know like five minutes because they lay eggs a lot As you can see, when the chicken lays an egg and it goes down into the hopper, it the automatic dispensing system that you made out of redstone goes and it shoots the chickens really fast. Although it's eggs, so they'll be baby chicks. And baby chicks don't burn, so they'll just get cooked once they grow up. And if you have a lot of chickens, it could work this fast, but it won't work as this fast. But as you can see, again, we just, they're cooking. And the minecart with hopper is collecting all the chickens which is absolutely great for us so anyway guys thanks for watching if you want more redstone tutorials then just comment down below and i will be sure to answer and say yeah i'll check it out so anyway hit the like button and subscribe and don't forget to keep being a burger